All day, air day. All of the emoji babies, a round of applause. Come on, now, give up for it. Come on, now, do better than that, y'all. Come on. You guys, you're doing better than that. Of course, 
you know we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradise. Oh, man, 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 family. I am so glad to be standing here with you today. And we, we are being joined, being joined, um, Right now, I am doing. Uh, um, I am. I am. I am trying to do the. Uh, uh, what is it? Start recording. Share screen settings. Um, edit live stream. Okay, here we go. Emoji toast. Uh huh. Put the date two seven two two dash six. For those of you that are in your book, where is? Oh, I took it out so I could write down. Cause I I just got a I just got an elder who passed away this morning, and um, like I said, I didn't know about it last night. I did see my on my calls. Elder Tony was trying to reach out to me, um, and I um, we want to lift up Elder Phil. But the day's date is two seven two two six. All right, we got the proverb. And we got the folk tale of the day that is coming up. But before we get into those, family, let's talk about what the rant is going to be. The rant today is the power, the power of story, a guide to using storytelling for building unity. All right? Because this has been something that has been on <clears throat> in my mind for a while, using the power of story to build tribe, using the power of story to build unity within the community, and um, this, I mean, this whole, this, the whole concept comes from where I learned it. Now, I know other people got, but my personal experience was with the tribe building effect, with the nation building effect of what was called the pain fire of, of Simba Camp, right, um, in the early days, where uh, we were actually um, share around the fire. I mean, we would be there till late at night. It would, once the stories start flowing, you know what I'm saying? Once people started really sharing, we would be there. Uh, and just, just simmering and stewing in the storage. And it was at that point in, when we, when we got to the camp, it was that point of the camp that brought cohesion, that brought the tribe, right? Um, and that all was around people sharing their stories. And um, I, I, I'm working, I was working with somebody at one point in time, and I kept telling them, I said, dude, you need to tell your story. And many of us have people around us right now that are... Not, I'm not going to say a shame, but they don't feel that their story is worthy of being told. And sometimes we have to remind them. We have to be the ones to, to inspire them, to, to push them to tell the story because they don't think that their story is all that important. But for those of us who know the power of story and understand story is a technology, we understand that we have to... Those stories need to be used in order to bring the unity because people get to see within you themselves because they get to hear the human side of you. Um, but we're going to talk about that. That's the rant for the day. Anime, am I ranting too much right now? Anime said I need to shut up, so I'm going to hold it back just a little bit. But um, without any further ado, family, we do have a little bit of news, a little bit of news that we do want to share with you on the Giami Journey Facebook page, not the Facebook group, the, the page, the page, the hub, right? I'm going to refresh it real quick, and we're going to do our little uh, busting out. Busting out! Oh, no, that wasn't busting out. That was my fault. I got it all wrong. Oh, and it could, okay. Oh, now, now, oh, I guess because I'm calling them Facebook still, they moving slow on me. If I was to say meta, it'd probably go faster. Come on now. 
Y'all tripping. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, all right. Wow. Hold on. I got to look at this because I got a hope. So what we going to, I got to, I'm trying to trim down family so I don't have to keep on, uh, you know, because I keep crashing y'all with post after, okay, this is, okay, that is the blog. What is this? Okay, that's the early. Okay, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. All right. So, so cargo ship used to carry up to 12 passengers on No Frills International Voyage. Now, fans of mentalist traveling are upset because it don't look like they're going to be able to do it no more. But I never knew about that. So you got these big, giant ships, right, that go across the seas where you can get like a long ass trip for a little or nothing, but no frills. Now, because it's a cargo ship, it's no frills. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get room service and all that stuff. But it's an, inter it's an interesting idea on travel, right? I mean, because hell, uh, I might wanna go to um, Ghana, West Africa. I wanna go to West Africa. You know what I'm saying? So can I get on a ship on the East Coast and travel over to Africa for, you know what I'm saying, an all right price and get a nice, get nice meals and stuff? And, you know, I'd just be bored for a week or two, but, you know. But I guess that's traveling if you if you got the money, the time. I ain't think about that. You need a lot of time because them, them ships, they be traveling. And, um... They charge like $100 a day or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go and check them. Y'all can read about that. Um, AI is real. DeepMind has made software writing AI that reveals average human coder, that rivals average human coder. So now they're coming out with AI where you can tell the AI what you want and the AI will write the code for you. I ain't going to read that, but I just want y'all to know what's out there, right? So now in a minute, you're going to be able to sit down and be like, oh, I got, I want something to do this and that and this. And, and your AI from your computer that you're going to be plugged into is going to be able to create the, create the program. It's going to be able to code what it is you want, the app or, or whatever it is. You're going to be able to code it at your house because now they have um, a AI that could rival um, human coders. Now, it's, it's getting crazy. Um, I wonder. I put Quander. Oh, my God. James Dyson, award-winning old wind turbine, can generate electricity even under crosswinds. So, you know, of course, I'm always into that new um, weather-type technology. So go and check that out, family. Go and check that out. This is a, a wind-generating electricity. Nice, nice, nice. All right, U.S. are considering a radical rethinking of the dollar for today's digital world. They're talking about doing a crypto dollar. All right, the future is coming. Are you ready? Right? I hope, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need, like I said, y'all need to get ready. Get those digital wallets. Everything going to be done on your phone. It's coming. It's coming. This right here, we're exchanging dollars. It's going, you know what I'm saying? It's going to go the way of the dodo. You know what I'm saying? Now, some of the old school is going to still continue to do it. But people are going to get, you know what I'm saying? That is going to stop. They're going to do something like, oh, COVID is spread through the transfer of money or some shit. I don't know. Something's going to happen. Where people are going to be like, ah, we don't need to transfer money no more. And then all of a sudden, everybody's going to be moved or forced to be moved over to, or, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily forced in America but it's going to be highly encouraged to move over to a digital currency. This is for my nerds. Objects found in the Milky Way, unlike anything astronomers have seen, right? It's something that broadcasts a strong energy uh, beam every 18.18 .18 minutes. Those of you that's in Giamme and y'all got the number thing, 18.18 .18 minutes. Think about that. 
All I can say is nine, 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 nine. That's nine all the way around. 18.18. That's nine, nine. That, that's nine all the way around. All right. Caught my eye since I'm getting a belly now. New research find that the, that with obesity, the problem isn't an excess of fat, but it's a loss of function. Y'all going to check that out. Got all those articles. Y'all can read them. Y'all can go and catch up on the old stuff in Giami Journey. I'm not going to necessarily go through them because none of them are really, you know what I'm saying, necessarily life-changing. They can go on and add something to you. But, you know, now what I want you to do, I want you to get your Ngoosa Child but Challenge Self-Mastery Journal. Those that want to get one, you go to ngoosasabachallenge.gnj.me. Let me type it in for you. Go. Nguzo Saba Challenge dot GNJ dot media. I already got it up on the on let's see where it go. Ooh, take you straight to the Amazon store. There it go right there. Got the paperback for fourteen ninety five, got the hardback for twenty one ninety five. You can check it out. You go through it. You can look at it. Look inside. Let's see what it look like inside. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, all right. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, take you through. Giving up some of the goodies. What What's going on? It's just giving all of oh, Okay, it stopped on us. Okay, cool, it stopped. But it gave you, because now you got the Ngoose Sabah Challenge Weekly Planner, right? You got the open space so that you can write. So you got... The, the week planner where you can plan for a week. Then you got the um where you can write. Now you got then you got the notes for each day. You got a mojo and then it's um something that you could write on the next page as well. A little bit more space. I, I tried to space it out just a little bit more to give you a but in order to do that I had to cut down the weeks because this one is actually twenty one weeks. Actually it's over twenty one weeks. So this one is going to be under 21 weeks. All right. So, um, there we go. So we offer that now. Let's go back to our screen. There we go. All right. Now, so now what we need to do, anime, if you could, baby, could you get me, could you get me together, please? While I get my mind right, get everybody together for us. What we on right now? It's the proper 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 Are you ready? This one is hard. You may as well die fighting the enemy than live exploited and be persecuted by him. Once again, you may as well die fighting the enemy than live exploited and be persecuted by him. That is the proverb of the day. Tell us, what does it mean to you? It's the proverb, 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 the proverb, now we into the folktale, folktale for the day, folktale of the day. The folktale of the day, the horse and the stag. The horse and the stag. At one time, the horse had the plain entirely to himself. Then the stag intruded into his domain and shared his pasture. The horse, designed to revenge himself on the stranger, asked the man if he were willing to help him in punishing the stag. The man replied that if the horse would re receive a bit in his mouth and agree to carry him, he would, he would contrive effective weapons against the stag. The horse consented and allowed the man to mount him. From that hour, he found that instead of obtaining revenge on the stag, he had enslaved himself to the service of man. Ooh, that's rough. But anyway, get the message. Folk tales, I'm gonna do a folk tale. Folk tale, folk tale, folk tale, folk tale, folk tale. Writing prompt: the horse and the stag. For those that don't know, the stag is like um, the stag is a deer. The horse and the stag. 
I need to, because I need to go and get that for my young people later on today. And matter, matter of fact, that's a good one. Um, for those that don't remember the proverb, let me read the proverb for you one more time. You may well, you may as well. Die fighting the enemy. Die fighting the enemy. Then live. Exploit it. And be persecuted. By him. Wow. Wow. That's one of those that's one of those problems that really, really make you think. Now, that's a writing prop. So now, family, let's go and let's do anime. Get everything ready for me. Is everything get you getting together for me? You getting it together for me? Go ahead. We are ready. All right, can I have my theme music, please? Can I have my theme music, please? Time family, today's rant, today's rant, today's rant is very, very, I ain't gonna say straightforward, it's not really. The story, the power of story, a guide to using storytelling for building unity. Now, for a long time, y'all know that I have been into this idea of the power of the narrative, the power of story. Um, I believe that story is one of the earliest technologies of men and women, of societies, and it helps it help bring us together, it help hold us together, it helps us transmit information from one generation to another, um, it helps us transmit beliefs, it helps us transmit principles, um, values, things that we should value. These stories are primary and we see them in the forms of folk tales we see them in the forms of myth we see them in the forms of religious doctrine and these stories you know what i'm saying can be used to build unity right because we got many old stories that we that we hold on to that we use that are in a sense no longer functioning they 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 the the power is not there for us, you you know what I'm saying? They could still be respected, but the power may not still be there because it's so out of date with where we are. And I know some people are like, what? What do you, what do you mean, Brother Hatem? Some of the stories that we cling on to, <clears throat> one, are out of date with us. Two, are not even our stories. So they're not designed to build us up. As a matter of fact, we empower others by hanging on to their stories, clutching to their stories and, and, and treating their stories as if they're more valuable than our stories that we need to go back and find and that in even some we need to update and create. Now, there's a lot of talk these days about building a successful tribe. Of course, I'm always talking about building a successful tribe because I believe that a successful tribe leads to successful individuals. Um, after all, everything we do we do today is an effort to connect with one another. We always strive, whether we know it or not, we're doing things to connect with each other. I mean, even some of the some people that appear to be the most selfish, they're trying to shine and show off for people so that they could connect with people. Although it's kind of twisted, you know what I'm saying? Even though they don't realize that's what they're doing, you know what I'm saying? You you you're doing like the the peacock. You're showing off your feathers. You know what I'm saying? You're getting shiny rims. They make you feel good, but they make other people say, ooh, he's worth breeding with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're doing things like that. Um, one of the foundation buildings uh, a successful tribe, one of the foundations of building a successful tribe is unity. And as humans, we have been using story to bring unity to each other from the beginning. We have been using stories from the beginning to help us hold unity. It's the stories of our families, it's the stories of our tribe. 
And many of us are dodging the opportunity to actually share our story, right? Now, for as far as, you know what I'm saying? Because even in some businesses, why are you in the business? Why did you choose the business that you're in? Why, right? This is, when once you start answering those questions or really just pondering those questions and then putting the story together for yourself, you start having a bigger connection with the company or the tribe that you're trying to become part of. And then also when you share the story, what you do is you give other people a reason to get more invested into the company or into the tribe, right? When we share the stories, it allows us to open up because the story moves something that is very important. A lot of people don't understand the importance of our emotions. A lot of us just see the emotions as hindrances to our lives, but the emotions are signals, right? And if we know how to deal with them, if we know how to wrestle with them, if we know how to work with them, they can guide us. They're signals. They can guide us to a better life. That's what they're there for. You know what I'm saying? Although, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of us, because we don't know how to use them, we get led astray. If you have children, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 stories are all around us. All we got to do is look, right? Um, m my blog is a story. Uh, uh, the movie that you watched last night or the TV show that you binge on are stories. The books that you read in most court cases tell stories, right? Even those of you that are fiending for the football games and the basketball, the sports, they tell stories or they come together and they form stories about people that we feel are interesting, about groups of people that we feel are interesting. Our whole lives are built around stories. Our religions are based on stories. You know what I'm saying? So we have to really start really looking at the impact that stories have on our lives. Sometimes these stories are written from, um, well, we talked about that. So, I mean, it's like, I, I just mentioned that. So let me skip. So now we must master the skill of using our personal story to then unite us with others in our tribe. We have to push past the fear and share who we really are and share our, share our tales of woe as well as tales of victory. Here are some questions to wrestle with if you're on the Guza Saba Challenge, right? You have your Guza Saba Challenge journal, so go on, get them out. Get ready. Here go some writing prompts. What is the most powerful, influential story you have heard? What is the best story you have you heard or been told? Now, the most powerful, influential story don't have to be the best, right? The best story you have heard or been told. What is your story? You know, in a nutshell. And you go to, um, you go into uh, Word Your Handbook for Life's Journey, the Giami Method, and go in there and get the story, um, the, uh, the story writer's uh, worksheet. Got the story worksheet in there. Um, what? an important story you have shared with someone. Now, the next piece for us is to look at some ways to develop an environment that is open to sharing the stories because one of the things we have to be able to do within our tribes, within our homes, is develop environments where people feel comfortable sharing stories. So one of some of the things we have to learn how to do in order to get people to be able to do this and be comfortable in doing that is we have to learn to ask the right questions. So when we have a discussion with people, we need to really, really invest our time into really listening to them. And we have to start learning to ask the right questions. Like I throw out the prompt for you. We have to really start, you know, asking questions that make the person want to go deeper. Right now, and you know, sometimes some people just do like, why, why, and go why six, we're gonna go why deep, six times deep, you know what I'm saying? No, but part of it is engaging with the individual, looking them in their eyes, you know what I'm saying? Really 
hearing and listening to what they're saying, repeat what you hear, and then ask a question to make them go deeper. Once they really start seeing that you're interested in the story that they're telling, they will have no problem with going more in depth with you, going deeper and telling you a better story. This helps promote an environment, and we need to start teaching people how to listen so that we can hear other people's story and not just cut it and be like, well, you know, I had experience like that too. You know, you know, you, you, you know, you got somebody that always, you know, I'm guilty of that too. You know, um, cutting people off, cutting off their story, not allowing them to get out. So we have to, in order to create the environment, we have to be learn to ask the right questions, shut our mouths and truly listen. Um, Another way to help promote storytelling in your tribe, in your family, is to tell your story. Share your story. You know, so really think about it and share some of it because you've got thousands and thousands of stories. Start sharing your stories with your, with your tribe. Start sharing your stories with your friends. Start sharing your stories with your family. I ain't talking about just the made-up stories because you can share those too. But also share the stories pivotal stories uh, uh, of life changes and challenges. So, um, because one, that does two things. First off, it's good for you. Second off, it's good for some of the young people, that younger people who are around you because they will hear the fact that you have struggled. We have a lot of people around us who do not understand that everybody has struggles. They, they're getting caught up in the, in, 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 in on this social media, and they think that what people are posting is like all their life is all good, right? Not understanding that there is no life on this planet that is not that does not have some trouble, and we have to start letting them know so that they can start hearing some of us. You know, because many of our kids might not even know that we're struggling. Uh, you know, I, I let my, I, you know, I try to let my kids know I'm, I'm struggling with some things. Um, provide an appropriate atmosphere. Develop an atmosphere for storytelling. Like, for example, one of the things we do is in, in our tribe is we sit around a fire. You know what I'm saying? We do the camping trips. We sit around a fire. It allows us to talk and allow some of the elders that might be there to be able to have conversations and in those conversations get into some of the stories about themselves setting an appropriate atmosphere where people feel good about telling their stories. And all the time, nature and us having to be together to stay safe because it's dark outside and there's strange sounds out in the woods and we're not all in a safe environment. We, we have moved ourselves out of this. We have separated ourselves from all of this modern technology and moved to a more primitive setting where, in a sense, we need each other, especially when it starts getting dark, so that we can feel safe. We're more open to, to hearing. We're more open to listening, right? Um, seek inspiration from others, right? When, when, when you hear somebody telling a good story, listen. And, 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 and after you get done listening, first listen, please, first listen go over the story in your head and see if there's something in there that might spark you to start telling the story. Seek inspiration from others, right? You know what I'm saying? Somebody telling the story and it's a brave and it's a brave story because some, some of these stories, family, require a lot of bravery to tell them. You know what I'm saying? Because some sometimes when we retell stories, we go back through the suffering that we was in at that moment. This is why we have to go in and create the environment where people feel comfortable in sharing. See, so that, you know what I'm saying? We, we have to create that environment. But, but seek um, inspiration. Provide that appropriate atmosphere. Be truthful. When you're telling your stories, family, you know what I'm saying? Some people like to exaggerate. Be truthful in your storytelling. Right, you know what I'm saying, I, and and it don't have to be all dramatic, and you don't have to turn out to be the superhero, cause you know you know how some people do. Y'all know how y'all know how some people do. Be truthful, and of course, keep it real. Keep it real. 
let our young people that's listening to our stories and let some of our peers that's listening to our stories know the real. Let's keep it real. Let them know the human side. Let them know when we hurt. Let them see the tears, that the tears need to come. Let them feel the victory with you. You got to keep it real. All right? So uh, those are some tips for storytelling. Anime, did I do it today? Did I do it? Class dismissed. Get the hell out of my out of my classroom. All right, all right, all right, all right. So y'all gonna take a couple seconds. Get your life together. Get your life together. Oh, I wasn't supposed to play it all the way through there. I'm sorry. Let me go and hang y'all up. All right. So I left the stream. But damn, did I leave the stream alive? Oh shit. I didn't leave the stream right. In live stream. Boom, there we go. In the live stream. All right, cool. Now, so, I'm going to give y'all a couple of seconds to get your mind right while I get my mind right. Minute by minute. Minute, minute by minute. minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. on the ancestors and the creator watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters to total freedom. To total freedom. I pledge to study and discipline myself. I pledge to study and discipline myself. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. Because my people need strong and Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. I pledge to live my life standing tall. I pledge to live my life standing tall. For a person on his knees is not respected. For a person on his knees is not respected. If I am challenged, if I am challenged, I must say I will not surrender. I must say I will not surrender. My position or my dignity. My position or my dignity. But instead I will endure. But instead I will endure. Until the final victory is won. Until the final victory is won. Hold tap. Hold tap. I hope I gave you enough time. I hope I gave you enough time. All right, cool. So let's go on and do this toast. We're going to do this toast because I got to get up and get out of here. All right, let's get it.
We lifting up our glass, we salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator. We lift up our glass, we salute the creator, and we say, Ashe. <laughs> a.m. We already did it today, so we're going to lift up our glass again for the for the uh, personal ancestors. For those that want to get their ancestors on the list, by all means, feel free to do it. You can follow us. You can, um, actually, you can follow us. You go to gnj.media, put your name on the email list. Just type in your email address, click follow, or you go to giamijourney.com. You can do the very same. Once you get the conf confirmation email, and you say yes, that you want to receive emails from Giami Journey, you receive a daily email from us. And in that email, all you got to do is click reply when you get the email, and you'll be able to correspond with us, and you better give us the name of your ancestors. You better ask us questions. You better send us names of people who are sick and shut in, and you might want them to receive some healing energy. Family, you know what I'm saying? Let's use it while we got it, all right? So um, we're lifting up our, our personal ancestors. We say, Ashe. moment which is why we here today we're lifting up the moment we are in the moment of a moja we lifting up our glass high we saluting the moja family i ask you to open up your reticular formation and seek out a moja i want you to talk about a moja i want you to share a moja i want you to build upon a moja i want you to use it in your presentation i want you to talk talk with your neighbor about it you know what i'm saying for those that don't speak the language a moja means unity truth is the modic principle of the day violet is the color as you can see by the shirt um you can also, you know, support Giammy Journey by going over to the merch store. Go to merch.gnj.media. Mentalism. Mentalism is the hermetic principle of the day. Male name is Quojo. Female name is Ajua. We lift up our glass. We salute. And we say, Ashe. <clears throat> Whatever family, where we going? Very simple journey. From here, we move to our future generations. We toast our children, our children's children onto affinity, right? We handle our business in the present. They will be able to handle their business in, in the future and family. We lift them up in advance and we say, Ashe. Family, right now, family, we are reaching out and we're sending that energy to, El, uh, to Elder. Um, Tony West, we're sending that energy out to Elder Debbie Bowie. We're sending that energy out to Brother Quasi Lowe. Um, we're lifting up our glass and we say, Ashe. Last but not least, family, we started with the creator, we end with the creator, and we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And as we send Giami Cat in, because this is our thing. And also, you know what else we say? We say, too black! <sighs> Y'all gone and conquer the day. You got it? All right, everybody get it. Thank you, baby. We out. Mr. Daddy.